All right, so we're just outside of Mount Pillar on County Road 17, and we're at the Wabash Cannonball Trail. We had to come over here for some uh, appointment we had, and we thought, let's check out a trail while we're here. Duke loves to walk, and this is it's the Wabash Cannonball Trail. Looks pretty nice. Um, we're here. It goes all the way through Wauseon and back to Liberty Center. It's a long one. I'm not sure how long. Let's read this and find out. So this is 63 mile non-motorized multi-use trail. Uh, we're not going to do that much. This does go into West Unity. We're not probably going to go that far. We'll probably walk a mile or so down this trail and then come back we may come back to do a full vlog on some more of these trails or the whole thing and maybe walk it and stay walk it and stay we'll see but let's go see what this part's about and see what we can find it does close at dark and you can't have any uh motor vehicles now they got like an olympic first second and third tier I don't know if that's to look out or if they have some sort of running uh, competitions on this 63 mile trail I don't know at this part of the trail there's a bench you can sit down and look now you can see they maintain this by driving and mowing it's kind of an asphalt asphalt driving type of material right now I don't think we're in a woods or anything we're just kind of it's almost like you're on a railroad track with no railroad tracks so it's pretty hot right now there are some areas of shade um, you're up higher than everything else like it's raised up, you see? Um, but look up ahead, it's mostly sun. The breeze is nice. It's very fragrant. There's a lot of these flowering bushes along either side of this trail. It looks like up here, there's actually raspberry. Is it raspberry? No. Oh, it's just a flowering tree. Oh man, that does smell good. Yeah, hibiscusy. All right, we got some shade now. This is kind of nice. And up here ahead, I'm not sure what that is, but I see something up there. See it? Kind of right there. Might be a bridge. Let's go check it out. Some of that reed grass growing over here to the right of us. Look at this funky thing. bunch of them that must be like the baby reed grass I think we're gonna be pretty high up above the river on this bridge it is a bridge Oh, you can't have bikes, just no motors. Oh, this would be fun to ride. Horses, hiking, skiing, or bikes. Perfect. Woo, look at this. Oh my goodness. I can see it streaming over here. 
Oh my goodness, Duke, don't jump. Probably going to go up to that white. At the very up there, quite a ways, you see a white marker. It's a sign or something. We're going to go to that and come back. Now we can't contest for the entire 63 mile trail. Just one outside of Mount Pillar, the cannonball, this cannonball trail part that we're walking, the Wabash cannonball trail. This is really flat, easy to walk. Uh, have gone barefoot a few times. So you definitely easily do this. And I think with a bike or a horse that would be amazing coming up to that white marker looks like to be a sign there's a stop sign as well so uh, must be an injunction or something coming up all right so I can see what's coming up this is 17.75 and it's a road opens up to this road and then you walk across the road and the trail picks back up there is a marker over here basically saying the same thing uh, you can use skis walking bikes or horses but no ATVs vehicles snowmobiles and no hunting All right, so we're gonna walk just a little bit further because I don't, I think there's about a quarter mile short of a mile. It said 17.75. So we're gonna walk up here and then that'll be a two mile round trip. Uh, we won't film the way back unless we see something pretty exceptional that we missed on the way here. But the foliage here is beautiful. Right now to the left we have a, we're kind of more level with the side. We were really high up on the other side of that road. Uh, farms on both sides of us. Breeze is coming through, it's nice. Beautiful wildflowers on both sides. And the path is really easy to walk. Now since we've crossed the road, this is more grassy than asphalt, but the exact same feel that we had before. What's this thing in the tree up here? You see it? It's There's a birdhouse. That was a like. giant birdhouse. That's where we'll end this. We get up to this giant duck or birdhouse, whatever this is. We're gonna check it out. It's a bat house. Think there's any bats in there? Bat house. Little slots for them to go in. Some mulin. 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 Yeah, it's right there. Mulberry. Loaded with mulberries.
we made it back to the bridge, I'm going to give you one more view because it's be so beautiful. All right, there you have it. That's the Wallbash Cannonball Trail. We got the one bridge. It was It's a nice, easy to walk. We were here. It does go across this road and down here. We only went about this far. And the trail is humongous. So, if you want to practice for the Appalachian Trail or you just want to take part of this you can go from road to road anywhere around up here through Wauseon, north of Archibald, Delta, Swanton, White House, Waterville, Monclova, Maumee, Liberty Center, Neapolis, Neapolis, yeah, Neapolis. You got trails all around you. I don't know what this means. I have to look at the well, that's you're walking on the road for this much of it.